Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic, and let's go and figure out this super simple math problem right here and what we have is 30 plus 10 divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one minute and then I'm going to kind of really emphasize an extremely important basic math concept, this is going to be the reason why a lot of you are going to do this problem incorrectly. So there are two types of students. First type of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, we have 30. So here's our challenge. We have 30 plus 10 divided by 2. So first type of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, addition at first, we have on the, from the left hand side, yeah, we have 30 plus 10, we have 30 plus 10 equal to 40, and 40 divided by 2, divided by 2 equal to 20. This is our last step, division is our last step, equal to 20. And we have this option, this is option A, so one part of students solve this question like that. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to understand that in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because we can't solve this question chaotically, we can't solve this question wherever we want, it's really big mistake in terms of math. So what is the order of operation? The order of operation is a set of rules used to determine which operation to perform first in order to evaluate a mathematical expression. If the correct order is not used, we will end up with an incorrect solution to an expression. PMDMC is just one of the, uh, PMDMC here is ju just our order, and PMDMC is just one of the mnemonics used to help uh, remember the order of operation. Different mnemonics are used in different countries. Parentheses are evaluated first, followed by exponent, then any multiplication or division performed, and followed by addition and subtraction. This is our last group. Why PMDMC is important? PMDMC is important because we need to know what order to perform operations in to get the right answer. If we were to just randomly perform the operations in a given expression, we could end up with many different incorrect solutions. In case when more operations are involved, it's impossible to end up with many more solutions, only one of which is correct. Order of operation is what lets us correctly evaluate the expression. So here is the main thing we really need in our question. When to use PMDMC? You use PMDMC when there are two or more operations in an expression. Right here we have two operations, so it's a really great case to use PMDMC. If there is only one operation, we do not need to use the order of operation. So, right now let's solve this question according to PMDMC and let's check with this 20. Maybe 20 is a correct answer, I don't know exactly, but let's do this. So we have 30, we have plus 10 and divided by, divided by 2. So, PMDMC rules. In most cases, order of operation is straightforward, so in our case it goes uh, its correct order from the top to the bottom, so the first step is parentheses, so, and we just follow the order in the figure above. Okay? However, there are some cases, particularly with multiplication and uh, division, that can cause some complications. Generally, the order of operation rules are the follows. Parentheses. First, compute the any operation that are within parentheses. If there are multiple parentheses, start a calculation from inside out. Once all parentheses have been taken care of, move to exponent. Parentheses in our case, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any brackets, so we just we just skip this part, we don't have any parentheses. Okay, exponents. Calculate any exponents in the expression if there are exponents raised to an exponent. Okay, this is the main thing we should understand. And if you look closely, we don't have any exponents right here, we don't have any powers, we don't have any squares, cubes right here, so we just we just skip this part with exponent. It is it is really great. Okay, third, multiplication and division. After handling parentheses and exponents, perform multiplication or division in the expression from, from left to right. Let's look at it. So this is one common group in terms of PMDMC, okay? And let's scan, where do we have this multiplication division sign? Let's look at it. So right here we have addition, we are not interested in this. Right here we have division, yeah, we are interested in this division and it's really great. So we don't have, we reject this multiplication step and we have this division step. We can easily solve this division part because this is nothing hard. This is 10 divided by 2. So we have 30, we have plus 10 divided by 2 equal to, equal to 5. 
and we have our answer because um, this is our uh, final step addition and subtraction group yeah we don't have any any subtraction part but we have addition part okay this is nothing hard so we complete this division step and we can easily complete this addition step because 30 plus 5 everyone know about it equal to 35 and of course we don't need for this last step we don't need order of operation because it doesn't necessary for us to find this value with order of operation okay so 35 is a correct answer in terms of PMDMC. And this is really important moment right now, because right here we have 20, right here we have 20, right here we have 35, so what is the correct answer? This one or this one? This is maybe the main thing I want you to understand, that the correct answer, of course, is 35. Why 20 is incorrect? Because we sold right here, we start with from the addition and then division. In terms of PMDMC, in terms of order of operation, which is really necessary, which is really important in our case, division is all the time before addition. All the time division is before addition addition all the time division is before subtraction so all the time multiplication and division group is before addition and subtraction so you should do all the thing with division multiplication and then final step addition and subtraction just remember that addition and subtraction group is our final step so as you can see right here this is absolutely incorrect incorrect answer but with parentheses this question will be like okay start from parentheses, then we have 40 divided by 2 equal to 20, okay? So with parentheses, this beginning expression is, is okay, because we should start from these parentheses, this is our first step right here, as you can see, and we start from this addition, because addition is inside parentheses, so we should do all the thing with addition, and then go to the next step. So with parentheses, this question is okay, and the correct answer is option A. In our case, we don't have this parentheses, so we just skip this part, we forget about this 20, which is absolutely incorrect to our expression. Okay, but what is the correct answer right here? 35, as I told before, 35 is a correct answer, but what is the correct option? We have 20, 40, and uh, this is a very tricky moment because uh, when the student thesis is 70 over 2, they go back to this wrong answer, then many students do this mistake and they go back to this answer 20, which is, which is really bad. And you should understand that 70 over 2, this is the same as 35 because this is a fraction, so we have like 35, this is the same thing with this fraction and the same thing with this 35 so let's write our answer as i told before we should understand we should learn the order of operation and the correct answer is is option c is a correct answer to this question okay if you made this error i happy you made this because you you won't make this error again you'll be like okay now let's go ahead and apply the order of operation let's not solve this question chaotically and now pretty easy stuff so here's our problem okay so anytime you're faced up with numeric expression you'll 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 get better at this through practice you won't be thinking to yourself okay pmdmc right so we we solve this problem according to pmdmc and uh, now uh, some of you out there like um, okay this is maybe incorrect solution how can we solve this correctly but if you uh, don't trust me you, you can plug in into scientific or graphing because basic calculator works with problem as you type it in so if you type this problem for example to uh, your like basic calculator you will have like 30 plus 10 the calculators give us gives you 40 instantly gives you 40 and then you divide it by 2 you will have 20 so you can you should uh, know about uh, scientific or graphing calculator where you can just type the problem and uh, the entire problem okay this is the main thing you should type the entire problem and then you you will have your your answer so definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay now if you need to learn basic math interesting brain test iq question you can easily subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it and it helps me a lot it inspires me a lot to make new videos every day so this is my explanation to this problem i hope you i hope you learn something new maybe a lot of students have difficulties with this multiplication and division part but i i will make a lot of videos i will explain you this multiplication and division part and it will be really interesting to check our answer in the end of the video so thank you for your time i hope your answer is the same as mine i hope you solve this problem correctly i hope your answer is 35 which is really great but don't feel bad if you choose this option 20 uh, answer 20 which is not good but i hope you learn something new and i hope you will never choose this option again so thank you for your time and have a great day see you in the next videos and take care of yourself